So with Deadlock, I thought that Valve made this entirely new concept, you know, this entirely new idea for a game and they executed it so beautifully. But then I realized more and more people came up and said, wait, isn't this just Smite, but just with better graphics? And I decided I had to check it out. Is Deadlock just a copy of Smite? Well, to get to that answer, let's actually look at Smite, Deadlock and see what the comparisons are. Smite is a fairly established game, releasing on the 25th of March 2014, with its sequel, Smite 2, releasing just now on the 27th of August 2024. This game was developed by Hi-Res Studio, the same developers behind popular titles such as Paladins, Rogue Company, Realm Royale and more. Smite, however, has been categorized as a MOBA third-person shooter, or as I like to call it, a third-person lane shooter. In the beginning of each round, you can select a hero from a variety of pantheons including Babylonian, Celtic, Chinese, Egyptian, Greek, Hindu, Japanese, Norse, Polynesian, Roman, Mayan, Slavic, Voodoo and Yoruba. Each character is classified under the Assassin, Guardian, Hunter, Mage and Warrior classes. While this is very much still a MOBA, you don't play from the top down like you would in League of Legends or Dota but rather you would play from a third person perspective. Each character that you play has its basic attack, passive traits and 4 abilities that you can unlock as you play a match. With every match the maps are separated into lanes and you have areas throughout the map where monsters periodically spawn, commonly referred to as the jungle. In most cases you have 3 lanes on every map and it's a 5v5 playstyle. This all sounds literally like Dota, doesn't it? You win a match by killing the opposite team's titan, but to do that you have to first go through all the towers and phoenixes guarding the lanes. This is all a part of one game mode called Conquest, but the game features more game modes like Slash, Joust, Assault and Arena. Now moving on to Deadlock. Deadlock is Valve's latest release, though still in its early developmental stages and only playable via friend-only invite. This game does share quite a bit of similarities with Smite, although that might just be because it's also from the third person shooter MOBA genre. Deadlock however is a 6v6 MOBA third person shooter game and Valve's first attempt at a true third person shooter. Valve is more commonly known for the Counter Strike, Dota and Half-Life franchises which are all either first person shooters or MOBAs. Coming back to Deadlock, this game currently have 21 set characters and you can choose 3 different ones with various importance levels to play with. Once in a match, the game will appoint one of those 3 characters to you. This game also moves away from the 3 lane system, introducing a pretty big map with 4 lanes instead of 3. Each character has 4 separate abilities, a basic attack and a right click attack that varies from character to character. You also have a massive upgrade by menu that might seem a bit complicated and scary to new players but luckily is made much easier or much complicated with the integrated system that allows players to upload their recipes for upgrades. Much like other MOBAs you also need to defeat the final boss in the enemy base here to refer to as the patron. Each lane is guarded by a tower or rather the guardian as well as minions that look more like candle soldiers. Fun fact! Deadlock was once going to be called Neon Prime and be set in a neon filled almost cyberpunk universe but they failed to acquire a trademark for the name and decided to rename it as Deadlock and set it in the Dota 2 universe. Deadlock is already a massive game especially for something that is technically still in a friends only invite playtest with a 24 hour peak player base of 164,855 players. Comparing that to Smite and even the newer release Smite 2, they only have about 8,500 and 6,400 players in the last 24 hours respectively. One key difference between Smite and Deadlock would also be the graphic style. Valve is using the unique Source 2 engine for Deadlock and Smite is using Unreal Engine 5 for their later release as well as Unreal Engine 3 for their earlier release. This gives Deadlock a clear graphical advantage over Smite and a vastly different graphic style as Smite 2. Overall, I would say that Deadlock is a banger. And I know bangers! Which is expected from Valve since they have a clear track record of creating games that last for decades. Is it a copy of Smite? No. Have they taken inspiration from Smite? Quite possibly, but I would say that most of the inspiration would be from their own experience developing games like Dota 2 and Counter Strike. What do you think about Deadlock? Is it better than Smite? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video please consider hitting me up with a subscribe as that would be the best way for you to support this channel. 
With that being said, if you want to see a cool overview of Deadlock, click on the video on your screen right now. Cheers.